All right, yeah, so my name is James Izeen. Of course, I'm back yet with another video about Diddy. Another Diddy video, okay? So this new information has surfaced. First, we have P. Diddy's alleged slave, and he describes some of the freak-offs, and this was like a police interrogation that was recorded in 2018, and the video has resurfaced now because it lines up with Diddy's allegations and his ongoing court case, of course, and then I have a Suge Knight interview of where he talks about P. Diddy, and then a whole list of celebrity names and politicians that were once associated with Diddy, that they didn't particularly participate in any of his parties and or have attended any of his parties, but some big-ass names have gone to several or multiple parties before and even his private sessions allegedly of course but first man let's just get oh. but first let's talk about diddy's alleged slave here that's uh do you know sean combs Puff daddy yeah p diddy whatever he call himself yeah. These days. yeah go ahead yeah he's part of what's called the boulet the boulet the boulet is a branch of the Illuminati. okay it's the black people Okay. Uh, okay, all right, so the reason that this man is actually locked up is because he uh, allegedly shot up a place that a uh, Donald Trump owned or something like in Miami, and then he just randomly starts talking about P. Diddy, so who even knows if like this guy can even be taken seriously, but he then just says that Diddy is a part of the branch of the Illuminati that I've never heard of before, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, he's talking about conspiracy theories, but can we just get into the meat and potatoes of where he's talking about? I had sex with Cassie and Sean, Basically, he would uh, he would mess and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters, and I heard lots of business. Cause what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with speakers and stuff. And I would be in the I was like a sex slave. Okay, for them that's what I was. That's all. All right. Okay, so that right there, that adds up. You know what I mean? Like, maybe like back then, like in 2018, maybe that didn't truly add up. But, you know, like true hip-hop historians have uh, been known that P. Diddy was a weirdo, including me. But, like, of course, in, in like the past, people would just assume that that's just a conspiracy theory and that, like, this guy is just crazy. But what he just said right there adds up to his case right now. That that man... <laughs> was P. Diddy's slave, essentially, and he would have sex with Cassie and Diddy would watch and jerk off to it. There's been multiple stories and uh, claims of that, of him actually doing that, of course, and then they've even found certain video evidence when like, they raided his house, so. Um, I caught herpes, and I came back, and I sued him for the herpes, and won. Bro, they didn't want, did Mark Gerros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon's here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. So again, this interview is taking place back in 2018. Cassie's lawsuit wouldn't be filed until November of 2023, so the officers don't really know what he's talking about. Okay, so, this dude in 2018 just randomly said that to police and it had nothing to do with what he's being charged with and or in investigated with. He just said that. Dude, what the f is going on here but okay let's move on from that let's go on to the sugar night interview or you know he speaks from prison about diddy and what you're saying about tmz but that's not really my interest as you might imagine my interest is in what you can help people understand about these allegations oh, right. that diddy is facing and what you believe he's facing on the inside now what's most interesting to me is that you seem to see diddy as kind of an Epstein kind of figure, uh, that Jeffrey Epstein, that a lot of people know what Diddy was about, and he, they were about the same thing, and that's why they're quiet. That's why J Lo and Ben Affleck got divorced because of videos that he has of her that now they know about. Where is this coming from with you? What do you believe about the people around Diddy and what everybody knows? <laughs> well, first of all, you got to start with at the top. You starting with the top, Clyde Davis, Russell Simmons, Andre Arell, Jimmy Iovine. And even if you take Jimmy Iovine, he had an allegation from him, same thing, he went away. You take Jimmy Iovine. They told me at Universal and Interscope, they said, you know what? We can't deal with artists that gets in trouble. And your artist gets in trouble, they talk crazy. They think about what they see. Now, I was 
told that I can't do business there because of that. Now, Doug Morris gave Puffy a deal for millions of dollars. It flopped. So when you look at all these things and everybody want to say Puffy, 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 don't get me wrong. Yeah, Puffy stepped in this shit and even if he wiped the shit off his shoe, it still stinks. But he's not the only one. Mm. They got all the tapes. Now, when you videos. talk about the tapes, like I said in like past videos too, that everybody wants to talk about Diddy, 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 this. Maybe they're just throwing him underneath the bus here and and distracting the public from uh, realizing and or uh, understanding that he's not the only one that uh, participates in this shit. It's not only Diddy that does this type of shit. It's totally not him. And so, so a sugar night, I agree with them totally. Well, number one, <laughs> luckily. I wasn't, I wasn't the first choice, the second choice. I wasn't the choice to be at those freaky parties. But you know what they show. They used to have a thing in the industry, right? And the sad thing about it, I don't like missing the Usher. I don't like missing the Justin Bieber. I don't like missing all these people that everybody know what time it is. So at the same time, in, uh, they used to have a joke. They never played this joke with me. And they used to walk in the Interscope office. They'll go back there and they'll be like, hey, we passed the test. They said, we haven't did the test. One dude said, well, don't say that in front of Mr. Knight because he's going to take it offensive and hurt somebody. I said, well, whatever it is, I probably will take it offensive when somebody will get their ass whooped. You know, that was me in those days. They used to have these guys, they used to call it the ball egg test. They used to take a ball egg, a raw ball egg, they had those guys pull their pants down and bend over and they stick it up their ass. The eggs break, they say they're not ready yet. They ain't put enough work in. This is Hollywood. So everybody want to go act like they don't know what's going on. Hold on a second, sure. you just look, that's what you got to do I is have, watch. I have never heard of anything like that. So if I haven't heard of... Look, bro, like really all of this happening, it really does prove the conspiracy theories right about Hollywood and everything. Like the humiliation rituals, the uh, wild sex orgies and the uh, stuff that like artists have to do. The hard boiled test, the, the, the egg test. What? Do you know how big a hard boiled egg is? Like your favorite rapper may have done the hard boiled egg test and they got a hard boiled egg shoved up their ass and maybe they passed or they didn't pass. About it, just assume a lot of people okay, haven't heard that before, okay, but you think stop, it's stop, on stop, video? Stop let's, stop, let's stop for a second. Go ahead, Shug. Yeah, listen, also, have you ever been to any puffy parties? No. You showed it after a long time to think about it, but if you haven't been in those butt naked parties, even some of the preachers been in those parties, and they weren't on their knees praying for God. <laughs> See, they was praying for somebody to have come real quick or something, but I wasn't there, but it's proof of it. And then it's just like this news station is just throwing up pictures with Diddy and, and like a whole bunch of celebrities, politicians, bro. You know what, bro? Like, I think you get the whole point right there is that uh, Suge Knight knew exactly what was going on there. Oh, yeah. And um, and then like he also even brings up that the people that came up with Diddy, basically, uh, they're not speaking on it at all. Like, you know, like they're quiet right now. Like they're completely quiet about the whole Diddy shit. The people who were closest to him, they're just not saying anything about it. You know what I mean? Because they know this is like the last piece here. So just a list of names here that is associated with p diddy so it says p diddy party list names uh, celebrities politicians and royalty jay-z beyonce jennifer lopez kanye kim Car okay so kanye west so like another heavyweight in the music industry has been spotted at diddy hosted events including music uh, celebrity oh my goodness okay yeah so i think everybody on this list it's very sus that doesn't mean that like they had participated in any of those acts you know what i mean maybe they were just at like you know just like a normal party and then diddy would try to invite him to the after party and that's where things go down there. All right, so, I mean, I saw LL Cool J, oh my God. Nick Jonas, Justin Timberlake. Okay, Nick Jonas, both a solo member, Corinna Diddy's gatherings, especially around music-related events. Kendrick Lamar is the... Oh my God, bro. And then, like, these people aren't even speaking on it, bro. The, like, uh, the only ones who are speaking on it is 50 Cent and Sugar Knight, because they don't give a fuck. But, <laughs> all right, so politicians here... 
Kamala Harris crazy that is absolutely insane yeah so that's the whole list of names you can find that on the internet bro that you know like that's pretty easy to find but if you're a true conspiracy theorist none of that truly surprises you like the whole Diddy situation it doesn't really shock you because you already know, knew about it like yeah I've definitely known all about like the conspiracy theories before like in the past but of course you couldn't truly 100% confirm them because you're not there yourself but this shit right here the shit that's going right down right now with Diddy it confirms it you know what I mean that too and then it's also leaking into the online so social media world as well it's kind of leaking into it so you know like the sort of uh, devilish things that people would do behind the scenes you know the yeah that dirty stuff there I, which I, I don't I don't support I mean unless of course everyone is a consenting adult then do what you do behind the scenes but bro when you're forcing women to do stuff that they don't want to do that's you know like that's wrong obviously <laughs> And then just, oh my God, blackmailing and bribing other oh, celebrities. Oh, it's disgusting. That That is disgusting. Your favorite rapper is probably a fan. Let's just keep it real here, bro. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, then you enjoyed it. If you didn't, then you did. I'll see you in the next video.